All right, um, I'm giving two angles, all right? So here I have a little vertex, and I forget what the vertex here was. B. Okay. So on this problem, I'm giving two angles. Well, I'm giving multiple angles, but I'm giving the value of two angles. And I wish I could get a degree, right? So, geez, why am I getting these letters? But there's something that's important about these letters that you guys got to understand. Even if I gave you angle ABC equals, like, 10 to 20, you guys will, um, like, let's say... Here, let's actually do this this way. All right, A, B, F, or E, B, F. Okay. Let's look at it this way. Let's let's forget about this. Let's just look at. Let's just say I I say A, B, E. So A to B to E was equal to that angle is thirty degrees. Then I say angle EBF, E, B to F, was equal to 40 degrees, all right? And my question is actually asking, find, now this is not drawn to scale, all right? So please excuse me. But find the measure of angle A, B, F. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if this part is 30 and this part is 40, and I need to find this whole angle, I'm going to add them together, right? So that equals 30 plus 40, which equals 70 degrees. All right? That's the easy part. Now let's get to the hard part. ABE does not equal 30 degrees. It now equals 2N plus 7. And EF equals 4N minus 13. But we're going to do the same operation. We say measure of angle ABF is equal to 2N plus 7 plus 4N minus 13. All right? So now I can combine like terms. 2N plus 4N is equal to 6N. 7 plus negative 13 is a negative 6. Therefore, the angle of ABF is 6n minus 6. So that's how you find the angle.